I'm shopping for my baby to be in the casket. It's, it's so hard. I shouldn't be doing this. She just turned 21 on the 5th, and a week later she dies. I should be having a party for my baby. Instead, I'm burying her. KCIsTheTown.com Mayana Henderson was a Kansas City native. She was silly, kind, goofy, lovable, and described as being the life of the party by friends and family. Mayana was a daycare worker with dreams of becoming a big star one day. She was a talented rapper, singer, and songwriter. She would always tell her mother, Mama, when I make it, I'm going to take care of you. I'm moving you out of here. Mayana planned to get married and start a family in the future. She started dating her boyfriend early 2022. Her mother, Don, said the two were practically inseparable. Mayana was focused on her goals, getting money, having fun, and meeting new people. She met a Kansas City man that ended up chasing her around a gas station and stepping on her because he said she was cheating on him. This is the tragic story of Mayana Henderson. On a sunny Saturday morning in August 2022, Mayana Henderson walked with her sister's boyfriend to a convenience store in Kansas City's Pendleton Heights neighborhood to buy a few things. Afterward, they were planning to head over to the recording studio to record a new song for Mayana's album, but she never made it. A Kansas City man shot Mayana to death outside of a Kansas City gas station after she told her friends she was receiving harassing and threatening phone calls from someone she knew. The shooting unfolded on the morning of August 13, 2022. Kansas City police officers were dispatched to a BP gas station in the 1900 block of Independence Avenue on a reported shooting. Dawn Kopecki tries to hold on as she's grieving the loss of her daughter. Mayana was the most beautiful person. The 21-year-old was shot and killed the morning of August 13th at this BP gas station in Kansas City. I pulled up on scene, you know, right after it happened. I'm seeing the scene, but it just isn't, it just isn't making any sense. To have somebody you love just ripped out of your life for nothing. She did nothing. She went to the gas station on a Saturday morning. Who's out hunting people for no reason on a Saturday morning? Family and friends, Saturday, hand in hand in prayer. We ask you at this time, dear Lord, that you will have mercy on us. Have mercy on our families, Lord, on our children, our loved ones, our friends. Remembering Mayana for her kind heart. She would have nothing and go find something to help somebody. She lost another sister. Her sister was sick. 
she would not leave her side. And her beautiful voice. She was so sweet and so talented. And every time she come around, I say, sing for me, sing for me. She say, Auntie Coco, I don't want to sing. And I say, no, you got to sing. Hurting and seeking justice. Now, preparing to say goodbye. I never, ever thought my baby would be on the shirt. She didn't do anything to anybody. She loved everybody she came across. She was a beautiful, beautiful soul. We love you, my and I just pray that my baby rests in peace and we get justice for her. In Kansas City, Leslie Dallas-Bohr, KSHB 41 News. One eyewitness told police he was listening to music in his truck when he saw the gunshot victims walking together in the parking lot towards the store. Afterward, the witness said a white car parked beside the gas station pumps. A man wearing an orange hoodie and an orange bandana around his face emerged from the white car and ran toward the store as the two victims were exiting. The shooter fired at the male first, striking him in the leg, then fired several more times at Henderson as she ran away while the gunman chased her. Video surveillance cameras show the suspected shooter exit a white Chevy Malibu as the victims were walking through the store's doorway. It also showed the vehicle being driven away from the shooting scene and north on Maple Boulevard. Officers found the female victim, Mayana Henderson, deceased at the scene. A male victim had been shot in the leg and was transported for treatment. Detectives interviewed the surviving gunshot victim. He told them he did not know who the shooter was and had no further information to give investigators. Henderson's boyfriend told 12 Henderson had received calls over the course of about one week from a man she identified as D'Angelo, saying she was threatened with physical violence for about one month prior to the shooting. He also said the man was recently released from prison, had a tattoo on his face, and had accused Henderson of cheating on him. Detectives reviewed roughly 30 calls from a block number that was associated with a period of harassment by telephone. Another friend of the victim told 12 Henderson recalled a situation where a man tried to force himself on her and had been stalking her roughly one month before the shooting. A roommate recalled a man by the name of D'Angelo visited the apartment for two days. Crime scene investigators reported collecting nine shell casings from the shooting scene on October the 6, 2022. Detectives were notified of a crime lab report showing DNA associated with D'Angelo was found from the shell casings found at the shooting scene. D'Angelo's cell phone record showed it was in the area of the homicide at the time it occurred. Further investigative work included contacting D'Angelo's parole officer, who confirmed D'Angelo drove a Chevy Malibu. Detectives reviewed video records of traffic stops for comparison with the store surveillance video of the shooting. She'll never be 22. She'll never get married. She'll never have children. It, it's not fair. Dawn Kopecki is missing her daughter's voice and smile. I dream and she's singing, you know, I wake up in tears because I miss that. 21-year-old Mayana Henderson was shot and killed in August. I'm angry. I'm still not to a point where I can forgive. According to court documents, Fisher called Mayana nonstop for a week and threatened to cause her physical harm. A friend then stating Mayana accused Fisher of stalking her, something her mother can't seem to grasp. You would think that somebody who's doing this would, you know, maybe they had a, a full-blown relationship or had known each other for years or something, not just somebody she met a few months ago and barely knew. It's like, why? Why did you do this to her? What did she do to you that was so bad? I mean, she didn't want you. She didn't want to be with you. D'Angelo Fisher was arrested on October the 31st, 2022. He was carrying a semi-automatic handgun at the time. During a police interview, D'Angelo allegedly confirmed to detectives that he drove a white Chevy Malibu but declined to speak outside the presence of a lawyer when asked if he knew why detectives wanted to speak to him. D'Angelo L. Fisher, 23, of Kansas City is charged with first-degree murder, first-degree assault or attempted murder, two counts of armed criminal action, and unlawful possession of a firearm. He is accused of targeting and killing Mayana Henderson, 21, as she was leaving a store in the Pendleton Heights neighborhood. Court records did not list an attorney for D'Angelo as of Tuesday.
Don and Mayana's family feeling a bit of closure with the accused killer behind bars. Two and a half months is really unheard of, going from nothing, no leads at all, to two and a half months we have him in custody. It's a blessing, but still just waiting to see the outcome. This mother and her family now hoping Mayana will get justice. I know there's a long way to go. While still holding on to the memories. I miss her crazy, silly, goofy. She was just like the life of the party always. She smiling, acting silly. Here's what happened. Mayana met this dude, he seemed cool at first, so she trusted him after talking to him on the phone for a few days. They hung out together a few times. D'Angelo developed feelings and fell in love with Mayana hella quick, gang. Hey, she got the ghost in him cause she wasn't feeling him like that, and bro lost it. He started stalking her, fam. He was calling her non-stop for like a week. D'Angelo was tweaking like, I'ma blick you when I catch you. You cheated on me. I got GPS on you. I'ma blick you and him when I catch y'all. On my mama, I'ma blick y'all. Hey, she told her friends what he said. He had her low, so he pulled up to BP on Independence Avenue. Bro jumped out of White Malibu and started getting busy, gang. D'Angelo Blick dude that was with her, and he ran in the gas station and left Mayana outside by herself. Mayana started running, trying to get away, and D'Angelo started chasing her, fam. He was running hella fast. All you heard was non-stop blicking, gang. He blicked her one time, and she fell down, and he ran up and stood over her. After that, he jetted. That's what happened. Okay, you drove your car to the gas station. Bro, everybody know that's your car. I guess you wasn't trying to get away with this. You wore an orange hoodie and an orange bandana over your face. Bro, bro, you couldn't wear all black? I mean, I, I don't understand that. Road workers wear orange to stand out. Why would you wear orange to go blick somebody? All right. After you seen Mayana running, bro, why did you chase this young lady down? Was you that mad, bro? That was your ex, not your op. You chase ops down and stand over them. What happened to talking? Why did you have to blick her all those times, bro? I don't understand that. You blicked her because you said she cheated on you. You were sitting at home, broke, thinking about her cheating on you because you're nobody and you have nothing else but her to cling to and she caught on to that and you got mad. You were sitting at home, jealous, crying, I'm going to blick her. She broke my heart. I'm a blicker. I was good to you. And you gonna cheat on me? Don't nobody cheat on me. I tell you what, I'm a blick you and him. Cause y'all playing with my emotions. All right, D'Angelo. When she started ghosting you, and you seen she had a boyfriend, why didn't you just leave her alone then? You could have got another girl. Why'd you keep messing with her? No, she is mine. No, you cheated on me. No, pick up the phone when I'm calling you. You know who I am? I will blick you. Don't play with me. I don't care what your mom and them talking about. I will blick. I see you. I'm blicking. I know where you at. I'm blicking you. All right? This guy was super weird. D'Angelo was a weird guy. And when she caught on and this guy was weird, desperate, and he had no options, she started ghosting him. He couldn't take it. He was ready to blick. D'Angelo was stalking her. Stalking D'Angelo. Stalking somebody is like the weirdest thing you can do. That's like what desperate people do that can't get nobody. All right, you shouldn't have confirmed the white Malibu was yours because now you've put yourself on the scene. You give them what they want and you start acting like you're smart. Talking about give me a lawyer knowing damn well you can't afford a lawyer. You're a bum. If you got time to stalk and call nonstop for a week, I know you're broke. You getting a public defender, not a lawyer. Stop the cap. I bet 12 was like, come on, man. You're not getting a lawyer. 
what happened? If you're getting a lawyer, there's no lawyer on the file. So how are you saying you're getting a lawyer? No one is representing you. You don't have any money. You don't have any real assets. Where do you work? You don't have a job. You don't own a business. How are you going to get a lawyer? Come on, man. Are you hungry? Take this burger. Take these fries. What, you want some gates? I got gates. I got cigarettes. Talk to me. You're not getting a lawyer. You know that, man. Don't bullshit me. All right? This D'Angelo guy was not smart. I'm willing to bet this guy was a high school dropout. I'm willing to bet this guy didn't have a thousand dollars to his name. He probably didn't have a hundred dollars. He was probably living at mom's house on ramen noodles and social media. That's it. He lives on ramen noodle and social media and water. And don't say it's not happening because People live off ramen noodles, social media, and water. That's why it was so hard letting go of Mayana because all you had was social media, water, and ramen noodles. All right? D'Angelo is probably down in the county, lying about why he's down there, telling everybody he's innocent, talking to the jailhouse lawyers, but not telling them that he told the detectives that he was on the scene. Do you, do you think I'm going to get out? What did you do? I didn't do nothing. They said I did this. They said I did it. I didn't do nothing. Well, what did you say when they talked? I didn't say nothing to them. And you know that's Cap. You know that's Cap. You know you told them you was on the scene in that white Malibu. All of these charges, you're never getting out. They don't want people like you walking around society. Because if you have another relationship, what are you going to do then? All right. R.I.P. to this adorable woman. You will be missed. I'm out of here. Oh, I, I know I did you wrong, but I don't want you to see the actions of it. I want you to see the purpose of what's working me inside.